Avatar The Last Airbender has been lauded by many for a great deal of reasons. The weaving of moral lessons, character development and Eastern philosophies made for great stories, and feeding those narratives into an overarching story that was carefully plotted out before a single episode was made. Hey, look at these weird lion turtle things! Left a series with not merely a satisfying narrative arc, but one of the best ever aired. It's easy to imagine Avatar arriving fully formed, a smooth process from ideation to planning to airing each episode without any major changes in between. That's not what happened though. So here I want to look at Avatar's unaired pilot. This is a quick look at where Avatar began. The first thing that struck me watching the pilot was just how much had changed and how much was already established. Perhaps that only makes sense for a pilot, but given how fully formed the final version of the show felt, it's interesting to note both how much was already established and how much wasn't yet decided upon. Starting with the similarities, Aang, Katara and Sokka's designs remain almost identical and the music, although not exactly the same, already has most of the themes associated with characters and factions established. There are also a few moments in the pilot that have a few direct parallels to moments in the finished show, like this fight between a hawk and flying lemur, this sea serpent, and a firebender destroying something while focused on fighting Aang. On the other hand, Aang, Sokka and Katara have rather different characters, each feeling almost like caricatures of the characters in the show. Also, Katara isn't yet called Katara, going by Kaya in the pilot. Listen, Kaya, here's the secret to bending. Visually, there are some small, but not insignificant changes. The designs for the air and water bending nations have already been established, but the earth and fire bending outfits have changed dramatically. Every change was for the better. Kaya, now Katara, was a little one note, maybe even a little annoying in the pilot, and even the first lines she has in the final series are a major improvement and she only gets better from there. Sokka is a bit better, but comes across as less well balanced in the pilot. The Sokka we all know and love struck a balance between cynicism and care, between frustrations brought upon himself and leadership abilities that kept the group together. Those elements are all in the pilot, just weighted a little too heavily in one or the other direction. Still Sokka, but not quite as likable or relatable. Yep, we're dead. Aang, for me, represents the biggest change, while at the same time being the most well established in the pilot. He has an existing relationship with Appa and Momo brought about by a shared origin as the last of their kind. A romantic interest and a carefree nature that all define him in the series, but every element of his character lacks the depth the final take on Aang had. Appa and Momo are more than just friends or pets to Aang, but sometimes more important to him than even his human companions, representing as they do the past that for Aang was so recent. You said to put a muzzle on him. You muzzled Appa? Katara is a romantic interest from the get-go, but their relationship is built on desires from both parties. Katara longs to hone her waterbending abilities and escape the domestic roles her tribe would place her in, while Aang longs for the close connections he lost upon learning he was the Avatar. Finally, his personality is a similar mixture of carefree and anxious to live up to his role in both the pilot and the series, but the balance between those elements just isn't quite right in the pilot. Come on, Kaya, you're flying with the Avatar. Start acting like it. Ultimately, what I find most interesting about the unaired pilot for Avatar The Last Airbender is that the creators could easily have settled. The adventures of Aang, Kaya and Sokka would have been fine, perhaps even great TV. It wouldn't have been Avatar though. Avatar is refined, considered, broad in scope and tight in focus. It balanced introspection and character development with moral lessons and some wonderfully choreographed fights without ever losing focus on the character arcs that remain some of the best ever put to screen. 
The major elements of the series are present in the pilot, and it no doubt took a huge effort to put it together. But in the small changes the team made between that pilot and the series we remember, we catch a glimpse of what made Avatar special. That little extra something that turned Kaya into Katara. The point where Avatar began. So where do you think Avatar as we know it began? Was it before the series itself was made? Or even before the pilot was? Or do we paint a picture of a series that perhaps only exists in its entirety? Where Avatar as we know it began after the last episode aired? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Cheers, have a good one.